is the news at 10. I was embarrassed. I was humiliated. I uh, didn't really know what to do. A CUNA man arrested by sheriff's deputies outside the CUNA police station had settled his lawsuit against the county. Mick Heikola was at the station in January of last year to drop off unused prescriptions, medication, and he was taken into custody during an interaction with a deputy who wanted to know why the man was looking into a patrol vehicle. Heikola says the way the deputy responded to him was shocking and confusing. Heikola filed a lawsuit against Ada County and the Ada County Sheriff's Office, who staff CUNA police, claiming wrongful arrest, use of excessive force, and malicious prosecution. Now, as part of a settlement agreement, Ada County will pay Heikola $250,000. The Sheriff's Office also agreed to provide specific scenario-based training about a person's constitutional rights during an arrest, something the agency says it put in place even before the settlement. Heikola says police need to know the law, but he says citizens should too. I want to say everybody should learn their rights, know their rights. Uh, our civil rights, they're, they're God given to us. Um, we have them, they should not be violated. Um, the transparency and the accountability from the police needs to be way more than it is. I know that they investigate themselves when something goes wrong. Um, I don't think that really goes anywhere usually. In a written statement sent to us this evening, Ada County Sheriff Matt Clifford said, in part, for anyone to claim we are trampling on someone's constitutional rights simply isn't true. The reality is we have hundreds of contacts every day with people of all different backgrounds, religions, ethnicities, and socioeconomic standings. While the vast majority of those interactions go well, occasionally we fumble and miss the mark. You can read Sheriff Clifford's full statement on KTVB.com.